the epic health care battle coming down to the wire with only a handful of votes still needed to pass the bill. President Obama and Democratic leaders will spend the day chasing every single last vote. And ABC's Rachel Martin joins us from the White House with the latest. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Elizabeth. The president heads to Capitol Hill today at 3 p.m. to meet with members of the Democratic caucus. The president says he's got the momentum, but the votes aren't there yet. We are at the point where we are going to do something historic this weekend. In the past week alone, the president has held more than 60 meetings or phone calls with members of Congress, trying to finagle the 216 votes Democrats need to pass health care reform in the House. That pressure may be paying off. Yesterday, at least four Democrats switched their votes from no to yes, including Congressman John Bocieri. Yes, I will be voting yes for the bill. Bocieri is a freshman Democrat from a conservative district in Ohio that went for John McCain in the 2008 presidential election. A lot of people are telling me this decision could cost me my job. A handful of other Thank Democrats you. concerned over the bill's language on abortion funding won't budge. Speaker Nancy Pelosi has made it clear she's moving on with or without them. If you don't want federal funding and you want the status quo for abortion access and you want to pass a health care bill, this is it. Pelosi says every vote is a heavy lift and the president is looking for support wherever he can get it. Talk to your parents, talk to your friends, do not quit. Do not give up. We are going to fix health care in America with your help. The president asked Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid to join him at the Capitol today so he can reassure House Democrats that the Senate will pass those final revisions to the bill if the House pushes it through tomorrow.